welcome to Vlogmas. Are you excited, Carlos? Yeah. He's so excited. Look at that joyful face. <laughs> Are you on? Oh, he has pants. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome back to Vlogmas 2020. I cannot believe it. Um, I am so excited to start Vlogmas. Um, I am going to be very real here. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not real but um, the other day I was um, wrapping Stella's gifts and I started crying like bad crying and at the same time I was crying and thanking God thanking God <laughs> for the um, you know opportunity to see another Christmas another holiday season if you want to call it that right like we're not all Christians here, um, and that's totally cool. Um, but I thank God for the ability and the privilege of seeing another holiday season. And I say, I don't say this lightly, like for real. It's been um, a, a very challenging year for everybody. Um, a lot of people, I think, worldwide, it's been like a million or something, two millions. I don't know how many people have lost their life out of COVID alone. And um, it's been a hard year for all of us. Um, and I am grateful to be here. Okay, Blogmas this year is going to be a little bit different. Um, we have a new setting, a new challenges, um, a new routine. Um, I have, I'm going to travel mid Blockmas because I am going to visit my mom in Puerto Rico and spend the holidays with her. Um, I thought about this, um, we debated, you know, back and forth, if we should go, we should not go, we should stay, and we're going to take the chance and go. Um, number one, because my mom lost my brother <clears throat> this year, and I don't want her to spend the holidays alone. I don't want her to travel, of course, here, because um, she is 73, so she's more compromised than I am, and I am highly compromising. <laughs> and um, Carlos' um, parents are... 78 mm, his dad is going to turn 79 and he wants to be more um spend more time with her with his parents so i think those are valid reasons uh, for us to take the chance and travel there so anyway so i'm going to start my day i'm going to exercise a little bit um open some advent calendars <laughs> we're gonna talk about that and yeah i cannot wait to take you up, i am on my way i'm in motion let's go to the ocean yeah let's go outside we can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas time We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand, you ready? Doesn't matter if it's Christmas Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good
So last year I loved, um, I usually wash Homespoon House uh, Sandy by the Lightside, Block Mass, and then uh, Brooklyn, Knit Folks, Jacqueline and Sandy, Block Mass. I love those. Those are the ones that I always watch. Last year I didn't watch Homespun House because I couldn't find it. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, maybe the algorithm from my YouTube. But those are the three that I loved. Um, Sandy by the Lightside and Jacqueline Salem both had advent calendars and I was having seriously FOMO. I was scared, terrified the fact that I was missing out. Um, and I decided this is gonna be the year that I'm gonna do advent calendars, um, 2020, like this year. <clears throat> So I saw some people announcing their uh, admin calendars pretty much kind of like mid-year. So in June, I was not thinking in any form of Christmas and I let it go, didn't bought any of them and I was seriously dying when my friend Amanda from Sweet Skate Online um, was uh, showing a little bit of a little clip on her on her Instagram sorry on her Instagram um, of her admin calendars and I was like oh my god I want one and um, I usually do that a lot I'm like oh my god I need one um, and she was like oh my god I think I'm gonna have an extra one I don't know if I do I'm gonna send it to you and I want you to open and I was like Lord, um, so such a beautiful gift, and I was like, okay. <clears throat> so she sent it to me when I opened that package. I felt so happy of the fact that I had all these bags and the little baggies, and I was like, you know, right away, sorry to think what I'm gonna do with all this and how I'm gonna store it and or how I'm going to display it. So I display this one, uh, the Swiss Gain on mine, which is like in brown little bags um, on my chimney. Um, I love, I, I love it. Um, it's perfect, and I um, I'm doing it on my. Uh, downstairs because uh, she used black ink so I want to make sure that it had like the you know um, this brownish uh, color with the white in the <laughs> and um, the black so I thought it was gonna be perfect on my chimney so that's why it's on my chimney so that's the one that you're gonna see every single morning um, sweet skin of mine I love uh, hers uh, this is Snow Angel, and of course the 20 gram mini. Um, I want to know how to cake this up because I have never worked with any kind of minis. I don't know if I have to go ahead and do a little bowl. But what if you guys have any idea? Just said shoot it my way. Um, so when I saw Christina, she had Christina from Chelsea Locks. She had a little bit of um, excess um, on her advent calendars. I was like, oh my gosh, I need one, and I got the sparkle one. Um, and I am so like, I was like, ridiculous. Oh, so hers is inspired by Cozy Kevin, and um, this is in the color candy cane, <clears throat> and of course is uh, a glitter weight yarn so I think and uh, what I'm gonna do I thought okay so what so my problem with always with this mini advent stuff it's just like what I'm gonna do with a little tiny 20 gram right like I need a full skein um, so I'm not a stripy person I'm not a shawl person so for me nothing ever kind of like stand out design wise or pattern wise that it kind of like moved me into getting this but you know it happened I got them and I was like you know trying to figure out what to do so I have I'm gonna have 24 of um, each advent um, a 20 gram for 20 times 24 is 480 grams I'm gonna have 480 grams so for me um, a 300 350 um, grams will get me a simple sweater this is fingering weight yarn so I think what I'm gonna do I am gonna do two sweaters <laughs> this is gonna be a little um, a bit <laughs> okay so um, it's gonna be it's gonna be something uh, I think I'm a, bit, a little bit uh, ambitious uh, about this project but I think I will be able to pull out so what I'm gonna do I am gonna do two sweaters. I'm gonna do a fingering weight yarn or two fingering, fingering work, 
fingering weight yarns or I'm gonna do a fingering weight yarn sweater and then a DK weight sweater which will be two strands of um, fingering uh, together and I want to make like a crop really simple kind of sweater I was going to do a lot of management color management but I'm not gonna be too anal about it I'm just gonna go ahead with the flow like right now um, if I look this together they can probably work um, but I'm gonna wait wait for tomorrow to see what I get and see what I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna do just two fingering or one finger one DK um, just because I thought you know what would be more amazing than to have a cute little sweater that I can use year and years if I am <laughs> if I'm still on this earth um, but you know what I mean like reminds me of 2020 uh, and I thought it's gonna be a great idea so let me know if you have a pattern that I think I should definitely knit in DK or fingering wise that it used less than 450 grams for like a medium. I'm like bust 35, 36. So um, yeah, so that's where we go, Carlos. Our morning walk at noon. <laughs> what was that movie that the girl was like a long hair and it was like a horror movie the ring the boy version on this cold December day we are on our Snow bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling. Rudolph knows where to go on this cold December day. I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl, hey guys, I'm waiting here for my hair appointment. I have a hair appointment at two. Um, I, you guys gonna be like, what hair appointment? I need to get my roots retouch. I got my roots done four weeks ago, so I usually go six weeks. I do have a little bit of growth, but not too much. But I am coming back uh, in January, so I want to make sure that my hair is presentable during the holidays. So I am going to just go ahead and get it done today and um, just put the bill. <laughs> um, not too much. I'm going to do all my hair because my hair, as you know, is growing. Um, it's really curly. I don't know how to style it. I'm not too worried about it now here in this weather. It's really cold and not humid, but Puerto Rico is hot and humid. So my hair is going to be growing like a sponge. So I am a little worried about that. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go get my hair done and I forgot that I needed to have a bite to eat. I didn't have any lunch. <sighs> I do that that lately, so I need to be more conscious that I need to have my meals at my times. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. watching hooks and coffee um she has a knitting podcast and i i will put the name of the knitting podcast out here but got my hair done was watching that while i was like in traffic and um she was opening her advent calendar which is the cutest thing 
and then she had an advent calendar for her dog which is the cutest thing i didn't know that had that it was a thing um i cannot get one for gringo but i can get one for mimi probably next year if i am in this earth which i will <laughs> i can want to say that anyway i am here now at burger master um it's a diner kind of burger place here in seattle it's from this area it's really amazing and i have not i didn't get any lunch i for, totally forgot i left the house it was too late for me to um, get anything so <laughs> i stopped here just to get a bun less um burger because um i i now i'm gluten free okay um, i was talking to my hairstylist and she was like how you can be gluten free i know um trying new things you know trying new new stuff but um i'll do the story <laughs> Because I want to enjoy my bunless um, burger, which is pretty much um, just uh, cheese in uh, in the meats. Because I don't ask for any vegetables in New York Farm. Anyway, I um, need to go to Joanne's. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow. But um, yeah, stopped to have a burger <laughs> by myself. I'm not bringing anything to anybody because my husband. Um, it's like we still have turkey and I am done with turkey I was done with turkey like on Friday um, two days uh, Tuesday so hello <laughs> we have a lot of turkey and we have ribs for years um, because my son did two huge racks of uh, ribs the other day and I had like three and I was done <laughs> we are not I'm not um, um, take a kind of yeah, I'm not a, a leftover girl at all I don't like leftovers um, I will eat them but I cannot do like three days in a row of leftovers I don't know if you're like me especially because my turkey if it was really tasty and good I will not mind but my turkey got um, seasoned really late the day before and didn't like absorb the the you know the seasoning and it's really blonde and not interesting it tastes like nothing not even salt it's so bad <laughs> When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand, take me away Christmas Day. There's joy. Families near, we give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green, red delight with glimmering silver white. You dazzle us all from big to small Warm laughter and white smiles My presents stacked in piles Take me away Christmas Day Snow is falling white and pretty as I 